up lovely people, you're back with Topless Baker. Now, so many of you have asked me for some Mexican food and I've been like, I need to cook some Mexican but I don't know what to do. So this week we're gonna do Mexican breakfast tacos. So, I called up my friend Checo, who's from Monterrey in Mexico, and I asked him what should I cook? And he was like, Matt, you've gotta do breakfast tacos. And I was like, what kind of breakfast tacos should I do? So he said a really good version is an egg and chorizo. So, I'm gonna try and do this for you guys. I tested them and they're delicious. And it's a really simple recipe. So what I'm doing to start off with is cutting some potato, okay? I don't know why I just said that in a weird accent. But I'm chopping it into kind of thin little chunks. And I haven't taken the skin off. I like a little bit of texture in there. I'm just gonna chop up about one or two. It depends how many people you're making this delicious recipe for. But just chop this bad boy up and then we can start with our chorizo. So once you've chopped your potato and you've got these kind of cubular, that's not a word, cube shapes, what you're gonna do is chop your chorizo. Now, this is Spanish chorizo because in England, I cannot find Mexican chorizo anywhere. So do your best to get Mexican, but if you can't find it, get some Spanish because it's kind of, it's the same thing. It's like a smoky, nice sausage. It will taste delicious, I promise you. And I don't know, one thing people in England say, chorizo, I don't think it should be pronounced like that. Let me know in the comments below because I say chorizo. Is that right? I don't know, I didn't do very well with my Italian accent, so maybe I didn't do very well with my Spanish. And I'm gonna try and speak some Spanish as well this week. We'll see. I really don't trust myself and my Spanish, but I'll drop in a few words now and then for all my amazing Spanish speaking fans. So I'm gonna throw that chorizo into my bowl and you can kind of have as much chorizo as you want. If you want loads, if you want a little bit less, do whatever you fancy. This is one of those recipes where you don't really need a recipe. You're kind of just like throwing things together and adding as much as you fancy. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got some olive oil in a pan. I'm gonna throw in our chorizo and our potato and we're gonna kind of cook all of this down, okay? Now, you don't need too much olive oil in there because that chorizo has got a lot of oils in there already that are gonna seep out. They've got paprika in there and it's all gonna melt into that potato and it's gonna taste delicious. So give that a little stir every now and again. And what I've got here is some corn tortillas. You can use flour tortillas. I like corn ones. I love that color. And I'm gonna throw these in the oven, not literally, throw them in the oven just to heat up while that's cooking. And basically, we're nearly done. So after a few minutes, you'll see all these oils are kind of covering the potatoes. It smells delicious, it's all cooking away. And then give it a little season, a little salt bay on top. Pow! And then give it another stir. Okay, so our potatoes and chorizo have been cooking for about, I'd say four or five minutes. What you wanna do is just take a piece of potato, give it a try. If it's soft, it's still got a little bit of texture. Exactly what you're looking for, it's hot. And I'm gonna pour this into my bowl, because this will stay hot. And all we've gotta do now is basically cook our eggs. So pop this into a bowl, get those juices in there. We want all that, that's flavor. In we go. And then we're gonna use the same pan, okay? Keep some of that oil in there because we're gonna cook the eggs in that. And then we get these kind of chorizo-y, if that's a word, eggs. So keep your heat on the pan and we're gonna go in with three eggs and we're gonna do fried eggs for this. So in we go with that guy. Pow. And then we're gonna do a few more and we're gonna let those cook away. So once you've cracked that egg in there, you'll see there's this kind of chorizo oil all over the egg. You've got that rich egg yolk. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of seasoning. Those are gonna cook for a couple minutes just until we've got a runny yolk. Then our tacos are done. Okay, so our eggs are cooked and we now need to marry everything together. So what I've got is my chorizo and potatoes, which are still warm, because it only took two minutes to cook the eggs. So these are still really nice and hot. I'm gonna throw them down on my tortillas, which I've taken out of the oven which look really nice, but actually what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of color around the edges, okay? So once you've added this chorizo, this potato on, what I'm gonna do is grab my blowtorch. This is totally not necessary, but I'm gonna char the edges of my tortilla. So just give a little blowtorch, cook those edges. Now when I asked my friend Checo what I needed to add to this, he was basically like, the chorizo and egg is like the star of the show. And then you can basically do 
what you want. So he was like, if you want to add onion, if you want to add a little bit of cilantro, you can basically go to town on this thing. So I've done something a little bit alternative here and I've got pickled red onions. Because the chorizo, the egg yolk is quite rich, quite sweet, this sourness almost cuts through the taco, which I love. It's totally optional though. But look at that color, absolutely stunning. So kind of throw these down on top. It adds a nice kind of vinegary, sweet, sour. Oh, it's just, it's a great flavor. I'll give you the recipe in the description box, so don't worry about not knowing how to make these. So throw them on, a little pop of color, and then I'm gonna grab some nice, fresh cilantro. Cilantro, coriander, people have different names for it. I never know what to call it. And again, this is just a totally optional garnish. If you don't want coriander, you don't have to add coriander, that's totally fine. And then I've got some chopped tomato here. I just de-seeded it, took the seeds out in the middle. I'm gonna throw a little bit of tomato on top. Again, a bit of color, a bit of flavor. Again, this is optional, guys. You can basically add what you want. You want the chorizo and the egg to be the star of your show. And then to finish this off, I'm gonna add a little bit of lime. Again, optional, guys. Squeeze that through your hands. Pow, pow, pow. Done. Look at that. I mean, that's color, that's vibrance, that's flavor. Oh, it's delicious. I need to eat some. All right, and I don't really know how to eat this. I'm just gonna fold it up and look at this yolk. It's about to burst, ready? Pat, pat, pat. Oh, look at that. That is heaven. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. This is gonna be an ugly face, I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, I don't know. And that is it, guys. That is your delicious Mexican breakfast tacos. And like I said, I've got yolk on my hand. That's how good it was. You can do whatever you want with this. Make the chorizo, make the egg the star of the show, but if you want to add chopped onions, if you want to add chilies, do whatever you fancy. It's your thing. It's your breakfast. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you want to see more Mexican food. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye with my yolky hand. Mmm. Very good. We'll be done. I hated that.